What's up guys, I'm Eric Surf 6. I found a new vending machines place. Oh yeah, it's a whole room full of them. They've got a rich fruit bar. This looks interesting. Never seen that before, huh? It's open 24 hours, good. Quite a few machines in here. They do foreign exchange. You can change yen for dollars or whatever currency. That's pretty cool. Unmanned, yeah. So we got three machines on this side, three machines on this side. It's looking pretty good. So I think the theme here is Chinese food. Okay, it's good. I like me some Chinese food. Let's do a quick rundown of all the machines here. Some noodle dishes, some meat. Got some little dumplings here. Oh, this is the ice cream machine. Ice cream fruit, yeah. Got some soups, some canned drinks. This is interesting. This is some soup right here in a can. Chinese soup. This is onion tofu, like a dessert. A coconut drink. Interesting. Yeah, I've never seen that before. And then over here, what have we got? What have we got? Lots of different meat dishes. Uh-huh. It's a nice noodle dish there. Looks good. Definitely looks good. Some ramen. This is all different types of dumplings, gyoza dumplings. Nice looking machines though, huh? And oh, meats here, chashu, looking good. All right, let's get some, shall we? Let's do these canned soups and drinks first. This, very interesting. So they imported from China, this is awesome. Yep, see the whole lid comes off, so it's definitely the real deal soup in a can. Next is the onion dofu, almond milk sort of dessert. 160. Oh yeah. Okay, and next door, I love this can, all the Chinese on it, very colorful. So coconut milk or drink. For 160. Let's use all the small 10 yen coins here so we don't go home too heavy. Okay. Alrighty, that does it for that machine. Oh, look at the model there. Okay. Hello. She's 34 years old and drinks this stuff. I guess. <laughs> See what it does to me. Yeah. Okay, next up is the mostly rice dishes here on the top. So meat served over rice. Mm -hmm. And then they've got these really super meaty ramens. Some noodles here from Wuhan. The Wuhan noodles. I think I'll pass on those. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, the big giant pork here. It looks giant, I don't know, we'll see. Thousand yen, okay. Let's do it. No, oh, crash. Moving on to this machine. This is very meat heavy. Look at these gorgeous looking meats glistening up here. That says that's number one. It's what, 300 grams? Uh, I've got, oh, that's, what is that? Evy chili. So shrimp, chili flavored shrimp. That's good, that's interesting. 300 grams for same price, thousand yen. Okay. Numbers at seven. Thump. Same packaging, huh? I like this, it's heavy duty packaging for sure. That's good. And we're gonna pass on the dumplings. I've got a lot of these machines here where I live, so I can do that anytime. And this here, interesting stuff, huh? These are ramens and then meat, kind of mixed meat dishes. I like this, has got meat and noodles. Let's do that. Number six, that's my number. 
Yeah. Okay, and last, let's do the desserts. Oh, we have one more, one more entree, then we'll do dessert last. This looks good. It's wrapped in a leaf, rice and meat. That's, that's really Chinese, I like that. Different packaging. Okay. It's the instructions how to cook it or heat it up. It's already cooked. Oh, there you go. You get cute little packages. You get four of them. And let's get an ice cream, shall we? Fruit ice creams. Snow White, and that's the most colorful one, isn't it? It's like mango, strawberry, what else? Mandarin oranges. Huh. Strawberry, peach. Let's get this one. That's the most colorful. It's called Snow White. Mm-hmm. Number three. Ooh, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Gorgeous. That's a beautiful looking ice cream. Yeah, should we eat it right here? Right here inside? Why not, there's nobody around. Beautiful package. That is really pretty. Slide it out the bottom. Okay, let's get a close-up of that, huh? Hmm. Just like fruit on top of vanilla ice cream. <laughs> it's got presentation value though, doesn't it? Mmm. Let me show you a very special type of vending machine. I'm gonna call this a modern day, old school vending machine, all right? So the machine is over here, okay? This is the goods here, all righty. So the old school machine is just a box and you put your money in it. So it's a thousand yen for one of these packages Okay, there's the thousand yen note. Yeah, so it's unmanned. I guess there is a camera in here. Yeah, there's a camera, so I guess suppose they could watch you, but. All right, the honor system, I love this. Okay, there, paying up. This is about seven US dollars. Okay, money in the box. And here we go. These are the Chinese ramen, Chinese ramen, Chinese gyoza dumplings. And the, these are all like open, you just help yourself. So, I mean, wow, right? They're all the same? Looks like it. Yeah, all right, let's get in here. That's a pretty good amount that you get. You get two packages, so 15 in each pack, I think. It's 30 of them total. Definitely a good deal. Yeah. And there's the sauce that goes on it, which I have at home. And I got bags over here. Help yourself. Alrighty. They've got these that they sell too if you want to keep them cool for 100 yen. So yeah, full on honor system vending machine room. I love it. All right, we are ready to eat. I'm being joined by Mega Brain 6100. And are you hungry? I'm very hungry. So let's start out with the drinks, shall we? Okay. Okay. You choose. 
Do you know what these drinks are? Have you seen these before? No. One's like a coconut milk, I think. And the other one's an onion tofu, which is a almond milk, maybe kind of sweetened, like a dessert kind of thing. So, I'll choose this one. Okay. You're going with the coconut? Yeah. All right. All right, let's pour them into these clear glasses so they can see. So, this is a first that I've seen these Chinese dessert drinks in vending machines. I, I think they're dessert drinks. I, I'm assuming they're sweet, right? You think? Yeah. Not sure? Okay. Okay, they look identical, don't they? <laughs> no, they're a little different. Okay. So I've got the almond milk, he's got the coconut milk. There's your difference in colors. One is a creamier color. This one is lighter. It's a lighter white. It's that color white, the same as her dress. Yeah. Okay. So cheers, Mega. Cheers. Good to see ya. Whoa. That's pretty good. I don't think I've ever really had almond milk, maybe once or twice in my life. This is tasty. Pretty sweet. How's that? Pretty good. Is it coconutty? Yeah. Does it's... it taste more like milk or more like water? More like water. Water, okay. Yeah. This is more like milk right there. That's thicker. You might like that better. Oh yeah, this is good. I like this better actually. This is refreshing. It's um, kind of a in-between milk and water, right? Yeah. It's not, yeah. It's not too watery and it's not too milky. Very nice flavor. From a vending machine, you can't beat it. Goodness. It tastes like I'm drinking it from a coconut. It's a feast here. We've got all kinds of dishes. How many? Five, six different dishes? Where do you want to start? You're the guest. I'll leave it up to you. Baby chili. Baby chili, good choice. Yeah, that looks very appealing, appetizing. Yes, excellent choice. Let's get in there. Boom. Baby chili. So this is what? Shrimp with chili flavor. It's popular in Japan, right? Yeah. But the Chinese really do it the best, I think. It's, that's where it came from originally. So here we go. Oh. Oh my. That's a really nice flavor, isn't it? Yeah. The sauce on there is really sweet, tangy. And the shrimp is nice and what? Soft, isn't it? Yeah. Right? The, um, of course, the shell's been taken off. It's good sized shrimp. It's big. Right? There's a little, like a little bit of a breading on it, right? On the outside of the shrimp. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. And there's some spice too, right? Yeah. You can feel, yeah, a bit of heat going on. So there's that. Okay. So my turn. I want to do the, the bean soup right here. This is, I can smell it. It's right in front of me. That also came out of the same vending machine as the drinks. Yeah. So we've got some spoons here. Grab your spoon. And it's like lentils. Yeah, beans and lentil soup, different types. Go ahead, get in there. Bunch of different types of little tiny beans, lentils, and then bigger beans. Oh, what is that? It's, how would you describe that? It's sweet, right? Yeah. It's Yeah, wow. It kind of tastes like, what is that stuff you eat in Japan that's like this? It's like it's a dessert. It's similar to Oshiriko. Mmm, right? Yeah. That's what it is. Oshiriko, eh? This is rice based. It's like a porridge, a sweet rice porridge. That is good. It's a, it's a dessert is what it really is, isn't it? Yeah. And served hot. So hot soup from a can from a vending machine. Uh, what else have we got? We've got two rice dishes. We have a noodle dish and we've got a dumpling dish. So 
Your turn. You choose. Oh, and we got the okra. We have a salad here that was prepared by our chef that didn't come from a vending machine. So, you're up. Fried rice. Fried rice, good choice. And the appeal of this is that giant chashu pork that's on top of it. Have you ever seen chashu pork that thick? No. I mean, look at this thickness of this pork. I'm gonna do rice first. Mmm. It's got some flavor, doesn't it? Yeah. What kind of flavor? Oily. Oily. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. It's good. Mm hmm. And there's some other meat in here, too, besides the, the big slab of pork. Right? Yeah. It is good. The rice, it's, it's a bit on the soggy side. Yeah. yeah, it's a bit wet. A pork on top. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Pretty soft, right? Yeah. That's pretty good stuff. Different from Japanese fried rice, isn't it? Quite yeah. a bit different. Japanese fried rice is quite a bit more bland, drier, not as many ingredients, and not nearly as oily, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, my choice. I'm gonna go for the. Uh, let's do the dumplings. Okay, these are really specialty dumplings. These gyozas here, because this is an unmanned vending machine. It's a room that has a box in it, and it has all these freezers, and you just go in and open them up, and you pull them out, and then you put the money in the box at the end, and there's just nobody in the shop, so it's like honor system. So you get. Two 18 packs of these. It's two 18 packs. So this is one 18 pack right here. You get two of those for a thousand yen, which is like seven bucks. And it's a lot of food, right? Yeah. Okay, so go for it. I'm gonna have, I don't know. They're kind of sticking together a little bit. That was my fault since I defrosted them. They're supposed to be just right out of the freezer, yeah heat them up but it's it's all good and there's a sauce for this here's yours this is the sauce so these are prepared in a fry pan so they're already cooked they just need to be heated up and charred right yeah okay going in for the gyoza Chinese dumplings. Mmm, hmm, hmm. Different from Japanese gozo, right? Can you tell the difference? More spice. Yeah. Yeah? More flavor. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's where the original dumplings come from. But, yeah. An excellent charring on the bottom of them in the fry pan. Crunchy. Mm hmm. All oh, these are good. These are really good. A nice tangy sauce. I like the sauce a lot. Mm hmm. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, so what do you think? Pretty decent gyoza? Yeah. Good Good flavor, right? Yep. All right, uh, It's right, we gotta do a vegetable course here. We're gonna take a quick time out for the, our salad entree. These are okra. Oh yeah, we forgot there's a topping for the okra. And do you know what these are called? Can you read that? They're katsobushi. Katsobushi, so fish flakes on top. There. About that much. Oh yeah. Do they dance? A little bit. They do move around a little bit. A little bit. If it, when they're hot, served hot, they'll dance on top of whatever you pour them on, which is a nice little sort of sideshow. <laughs> 
Mmm. Oh, these are good. They're in a sauce, too. I'll show you. Good. This is called the chimaki, so it's another type of rice. Let me give you a close-up of this, because we don't have a close-up of this, of the opening. There it is. You open up the bamboo leaf, and there it is. There is the sticky rice right there. It looks really gooey. Have you had this before? No. No, okay. Sometimes you get it when you go to Japanese ryokans, Japanese like uh, inns. Okay, ready? All right, Chinese style. Chimaki. Oh. It's gooey. <laughs> it's gooey rice. Oh, there's some pork or something in it. I mean, it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes good. Well, it's wet. <laughs> to me, rice should be, you know, like dry or fried rice, right? This is, is gooey. Let's do the noodles. This came with toppings, right? Yeah. And we've got video of that. Maybe we can show you some video of putting the toppings on. But basically, there's a meat, a minced meat that went on it, and then the vegetables, and then two types of sauces that goes into it. It's a gorgeous looking dish. It's definitely coated in this deep red looking sauce, right? Yeah. I'm curious to know how spicy it's going to be. All right, here we go. Going in, and this is called. Bian Bian Men. Men means noodle, basically. So, Bian Bian Men. It's fun to say. Bian Bian Men. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh. I got a mouthful of cabbage on that first bite. Oh, how about you? Pretty spicy. Oh, it's pretty spicy. Yeah, definitely there's heat. I like the texture of the noodle. It's To me, it's better than the udon noodles, right? Yeah. I like it. It's a fried noodle with lots and lots of flavor, right? Not like any other noodle dish I've ever had, right? Hearty. I mean, very filling, right? Look at him go. He's going for seconds. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to ask you, Megan, what did you like the best? The Bian Bian Man. <laughs> the Bian Bian Man. You know what? Same here. Also, the Ebi Chili was incredible, right? Yeah. That's, it's. I mean, the shrimp is just, they're huge pieces of shrimp. The fried rice was a, a little on the, what, the wet side, right? Yeah. A little bit. But, I mean, the taste is good. And that was probably my fault because I, um, I let it sit out for too long when it was defrosting. Um, but, yeah, that's the deal. The gyozas tasted good. The okra was excellent, but that didn't come out of the vending machine. And this was good, too. Right? Yeah. Everything, right? And you said in the beginning that you didn't really like Chinese food, right? No. All right. So now you feel different? Yeah. Good. All right. So now it is time to rate the meal. And you're the guest today. So where are you going to go from one to six mega heads? What are you going to do? Da -da -da. I'll give it five. Five out of six. Five out of six for Chinese vending machine food. Not bad. You know what? I'm thinking the same thing. Five. It's not quite a six. It could almost be a six, but five. Five. It's not quite there. Yeah. It's really good, though, and better than I'd expected. So, there it was. Chinese food from vending machines. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Slap a like on the video if you did. And as always, we look forward to reading those comments. Eric and Mega, out.